Ah, uh, y'all, this is Kenny Cummins here, chilling with Jeff and Kenny C. And I'm joined with a hip hop artist originally from Lexington, Kentucky. He currently resides in Texas. Jay Menace is joining me right now. What's good, man? What's going on, boss? How I'm, you feeling? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you so much for taking the time, man. I appreciate it. Hey, man, it's a pleasure. I'm glad to be here. So let's go ahead and get into it now. You're originally from Lexington, and um, but you live in, in Texas. Um, talk about living in Lexington prior to moving to Texas. Well, man, it's, just, it's a totally different change, a totally different scenery, everything, weather. Uh, but uh, Lexington's my hometown. I love it, dude. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to visit in January. So I'm trying to stay connected with everybody that I was cool with back then. You know what I mean? I don't want to like, I didn't move here and just like forget about everybody. But uh, uh, I like living in Texas, man. Uh, point blank. I've been uh, making more, honestly, I've been making more moves out here than more moves and better moves than I was in Lexington ever. But uh, yes, sir. Here I am in Kingsville, Texas. <laughs> I'm all the way at the bottom. Uh, right next to Corpus Christi. Uh, I met a few artists down here uh, that I've really connected with. And uh, just been doing shows, man. And uh, that's about it. Just, just making music, doing shows, and uh, working my little side hustle. That's good to hear. Um, so you released a song recently. It's called Free My uh Free My Soul. Um, definitely a dope record. I seen the video a little bit earlier. Um Thank you, bro. Yeah, I just posted that not too long ago. So well talk about the song and what was it like shooting the music video? Well the song is just uh basically uh the the hook speaks for itself. It's just saying that with uh as long as I got music and I'm making money, regardless of what, however I'm making money, uh, I'm going to be good. And it's going to like music has always been like therapy for me. It's always been uh, the notepad has always been someone I can talk to. That, that's what I look at it, as it is and uh, storytelling and all that stuff. But uh, free, free my soul. I, I think it was a really dope record. I, I got a lot of stuff off my chest that I really needed to. And uh, the scenery was dope. I worked with a, a homie of mine. His name's Lil S. And uh, yeah, he's he's pretty dope too. And he, he killed that verse, I found out. But it was cool. I got to drive to Corpus Christi and uh, just hang out with a couple new people. Uh, since I've been here, I, I don't really have like too many friends. But uh so it's cool to get out there and connect with people there uh, doing music as well. And so I'm just trying to support everybody that I can, whether it be here in Texas or in Kentucky. Like if somebody drops something uh, that I that I really dig or I, I vibe with, like the person-wise, like if we go back or whatever, I'm always going to support that person, uh, especially if they're making dope music. But yeah, free myself is pretty dope, man. And I, I had a fun, fun time shooting it, uh, and I'm glad we did. I really like the, I really like the record, and I'm, I hope everybody else does too, man. Yeah, from the messages I seen on the post that you made, very, very good reviews. And uh, the, if for those who haven't heard it, go check it out. Uh, definitely worth listening to. You know, one of those songs with a message behind it. So, yes, sir. And uh, definitely worth listening to. So, last week I've interviewed a friend of yours. He's a fellow hip hop artist. <clears throat> Mr. Contact. Contact. Yes, sir. Contact. Uh, collab uh, you collaborate with him. Um, talk about the friendship that you had and, and being in the studio um, doing the songs together. Man, like back when. Uh... I went to school with him, and uh, but when we were in school, uh, we didn't really talk much, and like I, I, we just weren't. I mean, we we were cool. We would say what's up to each other, but we didn't really know each other like that. And uh, 
just throughout the years. It was actually after I graduated. Uh, I just saw him around more often. It was weird. It was like, we go to school together and I don't really see you often, but then now we're out of school and I see you all the time. But, uh, and we just started talking about making music, man. And, uh, back when I was in Kentucky, we never did make a song when I was in Kentucky, but it was weird. Cause like, as soon as I moved to Texas, uh, we just, I don't know, we, some, we were just talking one night and we decided to, uh, make Project Lex, and I think that's a dope uh, little EP that we put out. Uh, Connor was, I heard Connor talk, talking to you about it. Um, it's got all the, all the, all the feelings that you need, all the song, like, all, all the uh, tight feeling that you need. It's got the party songs, uh, just anything. It's got those deep songs with the deep message. Just, it's got that, uh, we got a trap song on there. It's called snapping. I consider it trap, but uh, you know, just and it it was really cool uh, working with Connor because he's he's just real laid back, chill. Uh, he's he gives good ideas, man. Like he's got really good ideas for music, and uh, yeah, dope artist, man. Most definitely listen to Contact. Um, but yes, sir. I'm glad we. That's another uh, EP. The EP. I'm glad we made that too. But uh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Project Lex is the name of his record that he put out. Um, give that a listen. It's on SoundCloud. Um, and his stage name is spelled C O N T A C K. Uh, yes, sir. So give that a listen. You have a record um, on the way. It's called Making It Happen. Um, that's, um, something to keep an eye on. Um, talk, oh, most definitely. So talk about this, this, this record, making it happen. Uh, and when can people expect it to be officially released? Well, my vision for it, man, honestly, is, uh, just like the title says, is as simple as the title. It's, uh, I'm just out here making it happen. I'm doing things that I've never done before, experimenting with different, uh flows uh new type of song styles just everything man and uh i'm just having like i said i'm just out here grinding hustling uh and just working my hardest with this music than i ever have been and so that's what it means just making it happen i'm just on a day-to-day just waking up working on music and making sure uh uh i got a side hustle uh you know what I mean? It's always good to have a side hustle. It's always good to have a, another uh, in another source of money coming in. But uh, um, making it happen, definitely look out for that. Uh, I got I got my dude Zone featuring on that. I got Contact featuring on that. I got uh, my dude Trace Arlen. He's featuring on that. Lil S, you heard "Free My Soul," and I got a I got a decent amount of uh, solo songs on there as well. Um, so pretty much with with this with this record that I I just wanted to uh it, it was my first like introduction to myself like me and cuz project lex was me and connor you know what i mean this is just me and uh i want it's going to be cool to let the people hear what i can do by myself you know what i mean like i can put together songs by myself i and i i don't know man i just everybody on this record uh just brings heat everybody if you go look at the track listing i got that posted up every every single person on there is just a fire mc without a doubt but yeah definitely make it happen making it happen look out for that it's coming sometime in january awesome man definitely keep an eye on it making it happen name of the record from jay menace free my soul is on there and uh, plenty of dope tracks is on there so give that a listen and you know it's to kick off the new year 2018 so um keep an eye on that who would you consider yes, your musical influences whether it's local or whether it's mainstream type of artists who are your influences in music man there's there's a lot if we <laughs> if we were to talk about it like the, my list would be very long uh local local people would be a shorter list 
But I mean, you already know the big people. I mean, there's there's a lot of underground artists that I listen to, and uh, you know, I don't want to be the typical person and be like Eminem, but yeah, of course Eminem, and then Lil Wayne. Lil Lil Wayne was actually the first person I listened to. Uh, I started listening to, and uh, so yeah, he he kind of uh, crafted my style a little bit. But really, uh, it started off like my brother got me into it like we he he started rapping and then i was just like man i kind of want to rap dude like that's that that looks cool and uh i just kind of started doing it man and uh then i met my friend trace and we would just live in the studio pretty much he he had his little home studio and we would just record tracks uh out of his uh basement room wherever we could and that's, that's just how it's always been. Uh, but I just, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Dejon, Dejon Shakur. I'm sure you, you know him. He's on. He got that. Get this money with contact. Yeah, that that dude's raw without a doubt. And uh, he he was definitely a, a musical influence. I've known him for a while. And then uh, Trace, and then uh, my dude Joshua, and uh, contact and. There's just a lot. There's a lot to choose from. There's a lot of people in Lexington that are just so dope. I mean, I, I know you heard River Green. I know you've heard Devin Roberts. Uh, who else? Uh, Tucker. Oh, Lane Allen. Yeah, Lane Allen. He's pretty dope. And uh, who else? I had his name. Oh well, but yeah, just mainstream. I mean, Eminem, I, I'm big into the strange music. Uh, I'm big into uh, Twisted Insane. Uh, there, there's just a lot of people. I, I love all types of music. And it, it, it goes deeper than just rap music. I, I listen to, like, anything. Just I mean, jazz, country, rock, just anything that sounds good. I mean, you got to, you just got to appreciate all music because it's, it's just, it's, this is how people feel. This is what people do when they're... Uh, upset or just whatever emotion so you, you gotta appreciate it especially if it's good music if it's good music but most definitely but yeah i appreciate all music dude I, there's there's really not a certain person who crafted me to be the mc that i am but yeah 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 yeah, I'm familiar with Lane Allen. I'm familiar with Devin Roberts, whom I just seen at a bar last night. Shout out to Devin Roberts. Shout out to Devin Roberts, man. That that man's doing his thing out here, dude. He's yeah. definitely a good guy. He, he sings. He, <laughs> he plays guitar. He's on a band. And he had one of my favorite songs of last year. Uh, man in you said who, D. Lee? Yeah, El Dealey, Lay Allen, uh, yes, sir. Green. Yeah, uh, I think he lives in California now, but the shout out to him. He's making moves up there. Um, so making it happen that's coming out in January. You got the Free My Soul joint going on, music videos already out. Um, any other plans for the remainder of 2017? And what else you have in store in 2018 besides this album release? Uh, besides the album release, uh, honestly, I got a little mixtape. I don't have a, I have a few songs for it already, but uh, I don't have a name for it or anything like that. But I'm just, I just been honestly, all I've been doing is just stacking my songs, like it was ammo, dude. Like. Uh, and I'm just going to shoot videos, all of them. And I'm just going to keep putting out music. That, that's what the people want. And so I'm just going to keep on doing that, man. And hopefully one day it'll pay off. But as far as 2018 goes, uh, I definitely will have a few projects out during the, a few, like probably two or three projects out during 2018. Maybe more. It just depends. But that's the goal is two or three projects. And just also pushing out a bunch of singles and shooting videos. A bunch of videos are going to be shot and a bunch of new. You're just going to see a whole new side of me. 
I, I know most of the people don't know who I am. I have a few, I have a little following, but not really. And, uh, but I'm telling you, I, I've been grinding like never before, but, uh, yes, sir. And I appreciate you again for having me on here. I appreciate you, man. Before I let you go, why don't you go ahead and uh, promote your social media links, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and where people can listen to your, to your music. Yes, sir. It's, uh, you can find me on Instagram. It's use your, uh, fucking head. It's U S E U R F K I N A C A D. You can find me on, uh, Facebook at J Menace. And I do not have a Twitter, but you can also find me on YouTube at J Menace 859, which I just posted a video on my YouTube. Make sure you go like and share that. And shout out to, uh, my dude Kenny for having me on here. He's doing his thing out here. Interviewing all the good, all the artists and, and that's that's love out there, man. Like that's that's real love. What you're doing, man. I appreciate that, and thank you for nominating me in the DJ category for the Lexington Music Awards. I appreciate that. Um, yes, sir. I hope you get that, man. When are they uh, supposed to figure it out? Uh, the ballot ends this coming Friday, so that's plenty of time for people to get the votes in, and they're probably gonna cast in the votes and. Reveal the list probably after Thanksgiving. So, where were well, I'm praying for you, my good sir? Appreciate you. Jay Menace is the name making it happen. It's the album Free My Soul, it's the leading single. Keep an eye on all of that. Check out the music video and keep put that on repeat and then get ready for making it happen in 2018 and other future projects from Jay Menace. Uh, good talking to you, man, and uh, continue success. And uh, and since you are gonna be headed in Lexington at some point, in 2018, hopefully we're running to each other. Yes, sir, without a doubt. And you couldn't have said it any better, man. I appreciate you for having me. You have yourself a good day, man. You too, man. And that will conclude the interview. Peace out. All right.